In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite user rushes in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to let you know that my channel is all about helping you become the best Madden player that you can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to be able to stay most up to date on all of the videos that are happening right here on the channel. All right, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little user rushes out of the Nickel 335 wide formation. And if you have not gotten my defensive ebook on the Nickel 335 wide, I'm going to leave a link to the complete defensive guide in the description. It is, in my opinion, the best defense in Madden 21 because it allows you to be able to stop the run, stop the pass, play both zone drops as well as match coverage principles in combination with some of the best blitzes in the entire game. So if you want to get that ebook, I'm going to leave it in the description below. And right now what we're going to be doing is we're going to share with you a little bit of a user rush. Now this is a little bit different than what most people like to do out of this. So to show this, I'm going to come out in a gun spread formation. And I'm going to be grabbing the nickel 335 wide. And we can use pretty much any play to do this user rush out of. But in my personal opinion, it works best out of the Mike Blitz 3. Now all we're going to do uh, to set this user rush up is we are going to press coverage. We are going to crash our defensive line out just like this right here. We're going to go ahead and we are going to shift our defensive line opposite of the running back. So in this example, you're going to see we're going to shift them to the right just like this right here. And then we're going to take this user right here, this guy right here who we would normally user, and we are simply going to put him right over here on this side, just like this, and then click off. As you can see, he's going to stay in that little position right there. And then we are going to grab on to this guy right here is Darius Smith or the right of screen outside linebacker. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to put him into a purple zone and just kind of move him out just a little bit. And the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is we're going to be able to literally just run around the corner of the edge for a nice, easy pressure. Now, for whatever reason, um, especially when you're using linebackers to do this, it can be a little finicky. So one of the things I would encourage you to do is if you have any issue with the pressure, go ahead and just use our, um, or I'm sorry, go ahead and just make sure that you put that middle linebacker on the opposite side, just like this. And this will kind of clear um, and really make the pressure just that much better. But as you can see, if you don't get it off the edge, you're going to get it off of the left, uh, off of the A gap in that, in, that, um, in that position. One of the way that you can do this is through spreading your line, crashing your line out, and then moving this guy down. As you can see right here, it's going to give us a, a really unique position. What's really cool also is like if you wanted to, you could use this guy on this left side. And because he's on the same side as the running back, um, you can see you're going to get really, really instant pressure. You're probably going to get double edge pressure in a lot of ways with this. Like I said, it's a little bit better. Um, it is a little bit better whenever you use from the 4-6 playbook because you can you can audible down from 3 through 5 normal. But again, if you just kind of pop this guy down just like so, and then you're just going to kind of come off the edge, just come right around. It's a little hard to show this with two controllers. But as you can see, you can get the edge pressure in. Um, let me jump back out here and grab this from a nickel three through five so I can get safeties there. Speed is really important. The faster the players that you can have in that position, uh, the better. So if you notice here, this is why so many people like the three three five wide. It's because it allows you to get the best personnel possible on the field because you're able to put line or safeties at the linebacker position. And in regs, you can have the Packers where they just have really, really, really good uh, really 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 good safety so you can do this out of mul it's against multiple things you can do it against spread formations you can do it against under center formations you can, i mean pretty much anything so like right here you see i can come down into this and then all i need to do is basically just kind of bring this guy down and then as you can see i'm just going to click onto this guy right here and because of his speed it's going to allow me to come over and around the tackle just like that that's more of what i was looking to show you in the first example now, another way to do this same setup and to save yourself a blitzer if you wanted to, um, I like to do this personally out of um, the Tampa 2 coverage. I think the Tampa 2 coverage works best with this. So if I audible over to 335 wide Tampa 2, all I'm going to do is I'm going to globally blitz all of my linebackers straight down. I'm going to do the same shift that we had talked about to the strong side here. But I'm going to bring this guy down, and instead of putting him into a blitz, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put him into a deep blue zone. As you can see right here, it's going to be a relatively safe coverage, 
and then I'm going to simply click onto this slot corner here and the slot corner is now who I'm going to use to come off the edge there. As you can see, the rush is still very, very fast. It's also a little bit deceptive because now where they're used to um, that linebacker blitzing over the middle where they may be able to pop slants and, th and things like that, now they're going to have a little bit harder of a time. So, for example, if I did, even if I just went with Tampa 2, um, I don't even have to make any adjustments. to the, I could literally just do it just like this, and as you'll see, the pressure will come off the edge. I missed right there, but... As you can see, the pressure does come in. So the nickel 335 wide is the best defense in the game for a variety of different reasons. It has several different types of pressures that you can create. One of those is this user rush. It's also very good to use some of the other blitzes that we've discussed on this channel before that as well. But if you want to get every blitz that you can do out of the 335 wide, along with all the coverages, along with specific setups for specific formations that you're probably going to face online, I would encourage you to get that nickel 335 wide defensive guide. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video, and you can get the entire defensive guide for just 15 bucks. So thanks for watching this video. And again, if you want to get that defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you.